Alright, now, I need a set of gears to fit this timing chain I got. I have like a little Honda clone motor with a little overhead. Very odd. Very, 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 very odd. Overhead cam. There's the timing gear. And this is 2 to 1 with the crank. Instead of 4 to 1 like it should be. But there's only one lobe on that camshaft. I do not understand this. This is why I will not buy imports. They make no sense. This is a full stroke. But this is geared 2 to 1 with the crank. I don't get it. I really don't. This one was kind of blown up. I doubt you can see it. But one bearings they are all destroyed. The crank is bent and one of these has been hidden. It's barely it's slightly been hidden, the piston. So no more imports. That's how important this video. I need to make a set of sprockets to fit this chain so I can make a transfer case for GP. And what I've done is go on AutoCAD and I've cut these temp I've made these templates. Every place the line crosses, I'm going to punch a hole with a center punch. So I just clamp it to a piece of steel and use that as my template. And when I'm done, I end up with this. That little one right there, I, it bounced and I accidentally whacked it again. That's, I'm not drilling a hole there. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a drill bit. Same size as those little rollers, if I can keep this centered and focused. Take a drill bit, same size as the, those rollers there. And I'm going to drill out every single place I punched. As well as, I'm using a 3 16 inch shaft with nice little shaft collars. These are expensive, I need to just make my own from now on. I'm going to drill the center out for 3 16 inch shaft, which I have here. Alright, now, one, I grabbed a poking device, so my fat finger's not in the way. Now, I've gone through and I've drilled all of the holes, one middle, all the ones around. Now, in my experience using this method with that drill press, which is a crappy little Ryobi Chinese made piece of junk, but my experience with that, my Sony Makita bits for, I don't know, it's Milwaukee or Makita, I ain't gonna think about it right now. Let me think. I am gonna think about it, damn it. Milwaukee. Okay. I thought about that. That's Makita, that's Milwaukee. Blue, red. I'll, I'll try and remember that. I probably won't. But, here's the math behind this. You have the pins heel. The distance center to center needs to be the same as center to center on the holes you go and drill. That's the most important measurement you can have. Also, the dimension of the rollers and nail need to be the same, need to be slightly, slightly smaller than the dimension of the hole you drill. That's the most important bit there. The grind and the teeth, they can be all over the place and it'll still work but then you, it, it has to be within reason but it ain't gotta be perfect there now I keep dropping everything number of teeth that's the distance in inches pin to pin that times the number of teeth you want gives you the circumference circumference divided by the uh, by pi gives you the diameter of the of how big of how big this circle here needs to be. That's what you draw in AutoCAD, and then you put it off one to one, and you leave a little mark using the array or whatever you do make pounds around something to show you where you need to draw each one of your holes, and then you also want to center mark so you get that somewhat close 
my experience with doing this, I've done it for the Ranger, way up there on top many times. I've done it for the buggy. I think that's the only two so far I'm fixing. I'm working on doing it for the Jeep. And I've also done it on several projects out here on much larger gear sizes. Like this mini real buggy, man, idiot friend of my other side to do. He wanted a 12 tooth sprocket to go up on top there, gear it down some, so we did. Bottom one stock. Don't tell me four the engine on go kart's bad deal. I already know. I don't really care. Back to this. That is how big you draw the circle around. And then when you if you use the same number of teeth you had in your original mat there, they end up the same the correct distance apart. Now I've gone through and I've drilled all the holes out. I think I've already said that now. You go through the drawer with the freaking holes out. Next step is I'm going to go, go through and cut these out with the grinder. And I'm going to cut. Is there a pin? I don't know if a pin will draw on this. I'm going to go through and cut. Little teeth. Somewhere like that if you can even see it. I'll give you a new update when I get that done. Okay, next step's done. I've gone through and I've cut them out with a cutoff wheel on an angle grinder. It's about as close as I could without screwing me up completely. Right there, I got a little too close. Oh, that was about perfect, but it's still a little closer than I'd like. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to walk on over to my, my bench grinder and put the one near 60 good wheel back on it real quick for us. But Walk over there, I'm going to finish shaping them up with that. I'll give you another update then. Alright, there's the gears. Uh, these ain't gears, I don't reckon they'll change sprockets, but... Mighty, mighty small. And, uh... Ain't perfect. I'll keep. I'll do a little more work so you can see it's being used in something here in a moment. Basically, if you can get a drawing done. I had that. You can draw something like that and print it out one to one in the size of sprocket that you need. You have a drill press. You have drill bits. Bench grinder. Um, I do grinding outside mostly and one of these with one of these little death wheels they're called because they like to fly apart and stick in you somehow you have those three tools and really if you got a set of files a cordless drill and a hacksaw you can cut gears like this it's not hard I mean I you, you ain't gonna get as fine as things as this and you got a lathe, an index, and jig, and a mill, you can do that, but you ain't doing it with these tools here. I don't know, let's round it out, you might be able to focus. Focus a stupid thing. Maybe if I... Nah. That's the kind of index and jig, so you can keep it consistent. You had a file and a hacksaw. Yeah, you can cut it, but you ain't doing it with the with the method I just did. Let's see if it's just a super tiny drill bit. But there you go. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish making a transfer case up, or at least get started on it, so you can see what this ends up being used for and how they work.